Today we're going to look at 10 very rare medical conditions and diseases that do happen to people out there. Let me know how many you've come across or maybe you have an experience with. We're going to start with the first one, cutis vertices gyrata. And this usually happens when you have unusual thickening of the scalp skin and uh, this creates the furrows and the ridges. Now, treatment is not known. Actually, the cause is kind of congenital. You're born with this condition. We actually don't know what usually specifically cause this. So even the cure for the same, we don't have. So what you're going to get for the treatment is plastic surgery, whereby they're going to reduce the size of the skin to make it a little bit tighter. Or you can have injections to inhibit hyaluronic acid, which contributes to the thickening of the skin. Now we have the second condition, the Treeman syndrome, usually caused by HPV, type 5 and type 8. If you remember, you have so many subgroups over HPV. You have those that usually cause cervical cancer. You have those that usually cause the genital herpes and also those that usually cause the warts on the skin. So this is still from the same family. And uh, the treatment mostly is just surgical removal of those uh, lesions that you're going to get. And also the skin grafting to occupy the area where those lesions were removed from. Now this other one, number three, is not actually that uncommon. It's common because uh, when we were young, we used to... Okay, I didn't. I knew a cousin who used to get them. Now this is dermatitis neglecta. Usually it's due to accumulation of dirt, bacteria, dead skin, and also the sweat and sebum. Sebum is the way that usually come to your service to make your skin look good. Now, treatment is simple. You just wash your skin. And this does not mean that um, the actual cause is not showering. The actual mechanism of forming that type of a skin is a little bit more complicated than just having the dirt on your skin. But trust me, once you wash off your skin, you keep a good hygiene on your skin, this is going to just disappear. Now number four is keratolysis exfoliative. Now this is when the skin starts peeling, mostly due to chemicals, you have frictions, or maybe you have allergies, so you just touch an allergen and then you start losing your skin. Now the good thing is there is fast formation of the skin below the skin that's going out, so you are not going to have wounds, but um, you need to keep that skin oiled all the time during the whole of that process when uh, the skin is being replaced. So most of the affected area is the palms and also the sole of the feet. We don't know the cause. Actually, we're just doing speculations. Number five is edema. This is when your body is not able to control the amount of water. So most of your tissues retain a lot of water. Mostly, this is due to you having issues with your kidney and the liver. And in case you have an issue with your kidney, you're most likely going to have issues with the hypertension or hypotension. Hypertension is high blood pressure. Hypertension is low blood pressure. Either way, when you have high blood pressure, you're going to force most of the fluid out of the vessels and it's going to drain into the tissues. And when you have hypotension, you're going to have less of that pressure. So the blood will be a little bit slower. So collecting that fluid, which is extracellular, it means that it's going to take a little bit long. And when you have issues with your kidney, you're also going to have issues with um, the electrolytes. We have sodium, we also have uh, chloride, and we have potassium. They are very important and they control the amount of water that's being retained in your body. We also have issues with the liver where we have the very, very, very important protein that we call albumin that's being produced in the liver. It helps in making sure that your blood is able to absorb water into the vessels from the tissues. So if you have an issue with that, then you really need to, if you can press the skin, it doesn't come back. You really need to see a doctor like uh, yesterday. Number six is loiasis, which is caused by an insect bite. We call this lower lower. It's a worm, so that insect will come and bite you, and it's going to kind of inject that worm into you. During the migration, it might get to your eyes. And uh, after it gets there, it gets into the liquid part of the eye. You might not have an issue with your vision, but you're going to have an issue when it closes uh, from the eye to the areas because of that. Now, treatment is very, very complicated because this worm, so one of those, very stubborn, but we have DEC as a drug for this. And we're going to look at some other worms that usually happen in the blood. And I think we're going to look at Leishmania and some other. We're going to look at in the future. Number seven is obstruction by Ascaris rubricoids. 
This one, we are not going to call it uncommon. It's a little bit common, not that uncommon compared to the ones that we've been mentioning. This one usually happens to so many people because they usually don't take the warmers. So they are not taking drugs to kill the worms. So this worm will take advantage of that situation. They get to somewhere in their small intestines. They overgrow. They start blocking some sections of your small intestines. So the only thing that you're going to do there is just to physically remove them surgically. Number eight is neurofibromatosis. And this is a formation of tumors where you have the nerve tissues on your skin, inside your skin, inside, just literally anywhere in the body. It's uh, an issue, mostly genetical, so it can be passed from one person to another. So it's purely genetical. You have an error somewhere, a mutation that's causing this. Now, how do you treat this? We actually don't have a drug for this. So the only thing that your doctor will do is uh, to improve the quality of your life by making sure that you don't have pain. Sometimes you can have the tumors in places where they are going to exert pressure on the nerves or causing that pain. Surgically removing them will give you the comfort. But actually we don't have a cure for this because it's kind of genetical. So you'll have to go a little bit deeper and it's quite hard. Number nine is very rare. This is the stone man syndrome. Usually happen uh, due to calcification of the tendons, the cartridge, also the flesh that you have in your body, start calcifying, becoming like a, a stone. So you might find something like a scapula uh, joining the ribs, just joining. All the ribs, you find that you have ribs that are joining each other. They kind of fuse together because of calcification. The flesh in between them becoming like a stone and joining all of them. The same thing can happen to your joints and once that happens, you are definitely not going to be able to walk because you have the tissue between the two bones to make the joint that you have. So if it calcifies, it means that you have one long bone. Number 10 is very, very rare, extremely rare, but I happen to have seen one person with this condition, hypertrichosis. And this one is overgrowth of the hair almost everywhere in the body. And uh, the only treatment that you have for this is just the removal of that hair. See you in the next video.